We're in Reykjavik, Iceland. This is not a drill. We have an overnight tonight in Reykjavik, and we actually were in Iceland yesterday. We were in Akureyri. Akureyri. Still can't say it right. Sorry about that. Please don't get offended. But I have the full day off. I have an excursion planned, and I'm going with Savannah, and I'm so excited. It's called the Ring of Fire. Um, so I believe we're going to a volcano. We're going to a... Let me read it. Tremendous geothermal forces. See thing below Iceland on this green energy tour that circles the massive Hengel volcano. Then we go to Hefergardis. I completely butchered the pronunciation, but we probably learned how to say it on the tour. So sorry about that. Geothermal park. And then we finish at Thingvellir National Park, which is Iceland's largest lake or home of Iceland's largest lake. So that is the plan for today. We just arrived. It's like two o'clock. So we have to meet at 2.30 for the excursion. I booked it through the ship and actually wasn't that expensive. I want to say it was $70 with our crew discount, which was really nice. And I'm already sweating because I've bundled up. It's really nasty outside. It's raining and it's cold. But we're going to have the most amazing day ever. And I've got my cameras charged. I'm ready to go. There's so many people here just waiting to get our ticket for our excursion. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. We're driving on the one highway right now and it you can take this highway around all of Iceland. Like it literally goes around the entire country. Back on the bus. We were at the power plant and now we are headed to Varagardi for a light refreshment of meat. <laughs> I think it said that. The weather conditions outside are getting worse. <laughs> We've made it 
to stop number two. Geothermal kitchen. We have from the geothermal, we have a brushing bread. This is spices and cinnamon. And then we have a rye bread. This takes 24 hours to cook that. And then we have a banana bread. Takes six hours. We have a tomato and cucumber from the greenhouses. And then we have a very famous cake here. It's called Wiener Tetta. In Iceland, they say if you make a good Wiener Tetta, you get a good husband. <laughs> My wife make very good dinner. <laughs> so now we are ready, huh? We've prepared our plates. Time to dig in. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. We've made it to the geothermal park. And we have about a half hour in here. Everywhere we go, taste testers follow us. Oh my god, this is so cool. <gasps> This is sick. Oh, it's so warm. You see my camera steaming up? It's really coming down. When in Iceland, right? Hey, Juju! One looks like it's gonna pop any minute. Life is life is good. Life is really cool. I can hear it brewing. What's gonna happen? The explosion. Do you know what it's gonna, I mean obviously you don't, but like, is it gonna be a big one? Or like, what do we, did it happen already? I hear something happening over there. Woohoo! Wow. <laughs> smells of geothermal <Hot> energy. <laughs> hmm, smells like volcanic gases. Why don't they make this into a air freshener. I don't know why that <laughs> sentence took me so long to do. I want my car smelling like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so nice. It had its it's finally starting to clear up though. You can actually see more than 20 feet away from so us. It's beautiful. Our tour guide feet. just said that the street or like the highway we're driving on right now is on top of we, uh, the two tectonic uh, plates, so we're literally driving in between the two, so the uh, ground is pulling uh, apart uh, where we're driving uh, right now. We've just gotten off the bus again, and we're stopping. Thank God, Thank God we've been on the bus for far too long. We're at the visitor center. This is insane. The view? This is the moment we have to. <gasps> I'm so excited! I almost ripped. <gasps> this is where the tectonic tectonic plates split. <gasps> wow! This is the moment I've been waiting for. Life feels surreal. Wow! This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. even put into words how I feel like I'm just in awe I'm speechless like two tectonic plates like this shit I learned in school I said I, it's, fine. it's fine it's fine I know in we about tectonic plates I just dreamed of being in Iceland my whole life and now we're here and it's surreal and we're between two tectonic plates wow this is a very Monumental moment. Core memory unlocked. That's insane. Yes, Megan. I 
Iceland! Every view is just more beautiful than the first. Holy crap. This is the highlight of the entire contract. Yeah. Absolutely. freaking lately And the fact that the weather cleared up for us, like it's... It was raining all day. It was so foggy. Now we can see everything so clearly. We're lucky. Wow. Run, Savannah, run! As amazing as this is, if there was one thing I could say to change about this tour is there's just not enough time in each stop. Like we are here only 25 minutes, but we need like a solid 45 to an hour. Oh my God, this hill is pretty steep. My hamstrings are definitely feeling it. I she just got late. on the bus and I was not even hustling back because I thought there was other people still taking pictures and like the bus was waiting we for me. Here. Yeah, I was literally the last one on the bus. I was joking <laughs> about it too. I was like, I'm fairly certain I'm the last one to get on the bus. I honestly wouldn't even be mad if he left here without us. <laughs> I'm not even gonna care. Like, I'm gonna wait till the last minute. Well, she waited more than last minute. She made more five minutes. I was five minutes late, but they waited for me because was my content, baby. I had to tell them. Shout out. <laughs> vegan yuzu but with regular cheese and then I got the yuzu hot sauce as the dipping for the french fries and then we also ordered sesame edamame. So old fashioned, I like the glass bottle. Look at the edamame. I think the sesame was a good decision. Our burgers literally came in three minutes. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Yeah. First bite. Are we happy with it? This is so good. Yeah? No, this is a really good burger, like eight. Eight? Usually I don't eat it with the bun, but I'm gonna go for the bun. That was insanely good. Insanely good. I wish there was more. That was one of the best burgers I've had. And I got the vegan patty and it tasted like meat. Like you would not know that it was not me. I know. <laughs> me too. What's his name? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, yeah, sweets. So sometimes you'll You're see him outside your so... Hi, little guy. Hi. Oh. Hi. So soft. I know people usually come here during the daytime to see it, but it's it's really cool at night. Especially with the clouds behind it. It's very eerie. We made it to Reykjavik. We saw the church. We're set. <laughs> just had to make sure it's not a real person. It's more because this one hasn't got anything on. Just look at the head and go slowly. No, I don't want it. Does it freak you out? Yeah, it's gonna be, don't. It's gonna be <laughs> What are they trying to portray? Is he about to kill her or him? What's happening? What are they talking about? Are they talking about where they want to go to lunch?
Iceland day two. We are headed to the Blue Lagoon. And I have friends here with me. Hey. hey. So wait, I wasn't a friend last time yesterday. It's not raining today, which is a strong start. Um, the sun looks like it's trying to break through, so maybe we'll have a rain-free afternoon at Blue Lagoon. Wow. <gasps> Oh was my god, how is that real? Oh. I can give you a photo in there. I can't wait to not be vegan today. Yes, bathing in milk. <laughs> I can't believe we're here right now. Actually, we lucked out perfectly with the weather today because the weather is so clear. The sun is peeking out a little bit. Yesterday it was torrential downpour and windy and cold and today is beautiful, so. The universe is on our side. You beauty. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on another planet. I literally feel like I'm on another planet right now. Look at that. That's the moment when you are scanning this part of the wristband at the blue light. If you see the number on the screen, it means that your locker was properly closed. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's just warm water. It's not a big deal. Oh, I'm sliding. I'm slipping. Gee whiz. Not the cave. Smile in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave that we are here right now. I have dreamed of coming here for so long. Like it's a very surreal moment. I said that yesterday as well, but this is this is the highlight of Iceland for me. No, no this is the highlight of my whole life. Mm. And this beer is delicious. We were talking to the one, what is he, a security guard? He's an employee of the Blue Lagoons. And he's from Iceland, obviously, because he lives here and works here. And then we walk away after speaking to him, and Savannah goes, why didn't he ask my number? And I was like, because you're not from Iceland, you don't My mom's here. gonna watch this, and she'll be like, Savannah, like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you sick of us yet? <laughs> Jewelry, postcards, magnets, things like that. And I had to do it 
I bought a tote bag, but it was only like $8. We've been here for like three hours and I'm still blown away. Hello. We've had an amazing day, an immersive experience at the we Blue Lagoon. And we just ate some Icelandic dark chocolate. Well, wow, what an amazing two days I have had. I'm completely blown away and literally speechless at the last 48 hours I got to spend in Iceland. Actually, 72 for that matter because we were in Iceland one, two, for three days. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm extremely relaxed, very zen from the Blue Lagoon. I feel sort of out of it. And I could honestly take a nap, but I probably won't just because it's the middle of the day and I'm not a napper. But I had the most incredible experience at the Blue Lagoon. It was so, so much better than I could have ever imagined. I knew it was going to be amazing, but it was just even more amazing than I could have predicted. What an incredible life that I get to live, you know? I definitely have my moments where I overthink things and I stress out about small things that don't matter. And of course, like everyone, we can get caught up in the small things. But I'm honestly just so grateful for my life and so grateful that I had the opportunity to visit Iceland for three days. And I cannot wait to come back here because there is just so much that I want to do. And I only scratched the surface in the last three days so just really want to come back here spend like two weeks and do it all see it all and I feel very lucky that I was one of the few people who get to visit Iceland in their lifetime because I know not a lot of people have the opportunity or ability to come here so the fact that I got to do it and my job brought me here is just insane and i feel extremely extremely grateful and appreciative and it's just been an amazing three days so yeah i really had a lot of fun bringing you guys along for all of it and i think i'm gonna end off the video here i will be filming one more transatlantic crossing vlog this will be part three so it will be the remaining half of this voyage we still have I want to say seven more days of this cruise till we arrive in Boston. So I'm going to just put down the camera for the rest of today and then start fresh again tomorrow. So if you did not see it, part one, make sure to watch it. I'll have it linked below and stick around for the next one. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I hope if you ever get the ability to come to Iceland, you choose to do so because... It feels like you're on a different planet. It genuinely feels like you're not on planet Earth. It's an entirely different world, I swear. Also, my hair is a mess. You didn't see it, but I had my camera, my phone, and my GoPro in a plastic baggie that wasn't waterproof, but I was carrying it above the water in Blue Lagoon. And as I was walking, I slipped on one of the rocks and fell in the water and dropped the baggie underwater but luckily camera is okay phone is okay but anyways that's why my hair is the way that it is <laughs> but yeah i am just going all over the place my brain is unorganized but i love you guys to the moon and back thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys